Hey loves, Ooh, welcome back to the Gary channel. My name is Abby and today we're going to be doing the weekly chakra healing video for Leo. Um, before I do though, I'm just going to just gonna cleanse. There's been a lot of messages for the signs. Like it's doing the readings for like all of the signs is so like everybody's going through some twangs. Please make sure you're, that you're watching your moon, uh, rising, Venus, um, as well for the videos, um, because just so you can get a bigger picture of what's going on with your energy. But let's get started, okay? So for you guys, th there's definitely some stuff going on, but we're going to talk about it. Um, the root chakra, we got the ten of pentacles. The sacral chakra, we got the ten of cups. I know, I saw it, I was like, oh my god, because I'm a Leo rising, so yes. Um, but I'm not done. The uh, solar plexus, we have the four of pentacles. The heart chakra, we got the nine of swords. The throat chakra, we got strength, which is, which is, um, which is amazing because that is your card. The third eye, we have the six of swords crown chakra we have the page of pentacles and your oracle cards for this week are death jealousy house and soldier okay okay so when i was looking at you guys' cards i was like okay I feel like this week you guys are really coming back to a place of yourself um, where you're really trying to get back to the things that you've always wanted. And this is why the cards came out the way that they did. Root, sacral, and um, solar plexus. There's a reason why they came out like this because there's a part of you that... When you were a kid when as you grew up you came up you created this idea of what uh these two things look like which means abundance in the physical realm and abundance in the emotional realm what your joy what your relationships look like what your money looks like how you can be all of these things you have created for a while now your kind of formula of how that would look like, what you wanted to feel like, what do you want it to look like, what do you want to have around you? Like you've really created an idea. And I mean you are a fixed sign, so I'm not really surprised that this has come up in your reading at all. But um there's like this there's 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 ideas and there's also messages because this type of combination is not necessarily just you wanting it. It's also that you know that this is coming. Um you know that you're going to have this financial abundance you know that you will be financially good um you know that you will be emotionally good you know that you will have the relationship that you want um and you're still holding on to that idea that concept those intentions that you have set before which is very beautiful now the only kind of thing that's going on this week is that as scorpio season is kind of over but the since there's still planets in scorpio you're still kind of transitioning through the energy of scorpio and kind of releasing some things releasing some people um because you're holding on to that idea you are releasing some people and i feel like even though the heart chakra is like a little bit like nine of swords energy this week for you guys is really about not holding on to any trauma but focusing on that intention especially with jupiter and sag the moon um tomorrow the new moon and sag tomorrow as well there's just just a lot of fire energy you guys are a little bit more aligned in alignment with the journey to your journey to your ideas to what you love to what you want and i feel like you're just going through the process of leaving some things and what i don't want you to do this week is pity yourself or uh, feel upset or um, struggle or feel like you're kind of emotionally especially because this is in the heart chakra so I feel like some people are just like might be holding on to some trauma from the relationships that they've had to let go of um, and the experiences um, 
sort out your heart this week i feel like it's really about your heart and you guys know that you guys give your heart completely when you love when you care you're that sign okay you've always worn your heart on your sleeves you always you're very showy with your love and there is just kind of like this need to kind of bring that back and practice a lot of self-love this week you don't want to hold on to any traumas you don't want that type of energy going on because you are releasing you are going into a new space new energy new vibes new people new intentions there's there's new coming through but in your head everything is a lot more painful than it should be and it's your process however set the intention to love yourself as much as you love other people okay because right now you're coming home you've been literally it's been an uphill battle this is why the soldier card came out and the house card came out it's been an uphill battle and you're coming home it's not we're not fighting anymore we're not arguing about it no we're moving forward we're going back to that home base those things that we've always wanted okay those things that we've always wanted we've come home from this battle we survived we're in a better place it's time to move forward now okay just take care of yourself when you go through being a soldier you go through a lot of emotional things you see a lot of things you experience a lot of things that are not necessarily the easiest things to go through and so your heart must stay pure your heart must stay as joyful as big as open as it is used to being like you need to make sure you reconnect with that and you do that by really refocusing on yourself i feel like you guys need to listen to some affirmations um to some music some something that makes you feel good um the throat chakra is looking good because i feel like you guys are in a really strong place you guys are speaking words of strength to yourself you guys are trying to really hold yourselves up and if you are struggling with that this week try to hold yourself up try to find the strength in the situations that you're in because i feel like it's not necessarily that you're going through like this experience is meant to be horrifying horrible or feeling like oh my god no it's just that you are releasing releasing takes a toll on us which means that we need to go back and self-nourish now i just want to address the jealousy card because y'all know i mean y'all leos this happens to y'all like on a regular basis um you guys need to do some protection work okay you guys need to do some protection work there is especially when you're in the in the process of manifesting this level type of like magic there's going to be people who are looking at you from the outside who can't necessarily see that you're going through this process um that are going to try to attack you okay so even though if you're though you're coming home you still need to make sure your home base which is you that you are good that you are protected that while you're doing this healing internally you got the walls up nobody's trying you're not trying to let nobody in your castle we're not taking no visitors today or this week okay or maybe for the rest of the month for the rest of next month for the rest of the year okay let's just say that we're not taking no visitors we're fine um we'll go to family events if we feel like it but right now we're fine um but be mindful of the jealous behavior i also feel like this is gonna come up in thanksgiving this week for some of y'all you, you guys might have a very some jealous family members that you might have to deal with um so do some protection work don't let don't show everybody your colors again strength that is your voice that's what you be speaking to you need to be your best representative your strongest representative if you are speaking your words of intention even in conversation when you're talking about what's going on in your life when you're talking about what just happened like if one of your family members is like oh where's this you know whatever the ex or whoever the heck is oh you don't know where they are you don't know them you could pull you could pull a mariah carry up on that one if you want to um and then just keep it moving like oh i'm doing my own thing i i decided i'm going i'm setting some new intentions i'm in a, i'm in a different place now i know what i want to do i know where i'm going you know like just keep it fresh and clean just keep it fresh and clean um be strong be the best representative of yourself your strength and your words 
also block this. Okay, because what you say and if you just saying, oh, I'm great. Then whoever made the, set the intention that you were not going to be great, guess what? Boom. That intention just went out the window because guess what? You're great. You just set the intention within yourself that you're great, which means that you are maintaining the status of greatness, your status of greatness. And that goes with strength. It takes a lot of strength for you to just hold your head up and walk into a room even if you're hurting. Okay? It takes a lot of strength to do that. And while you're going through this process, just understand that you're going to be okay. Okay? The sun is still shining on you. You are still someone who is loved, who is needed, who people have the energy to be jealous over. Okay? It's, it's just like, you're going to be okay. You are going to move through this. You are going to um, mentally also be okay. These thoughts that you're having, this, this like the mental agony, this type of energy that's been playing out in your head, it's going to be fine. It's going to work out. You just need to stay grounded. It's really about staying grounded, allowing yourself to um, move through the week, move through these experiences, move through the holidays really like with a okay, about to be new year who this type of energy. Like it's really you're gonna be okay you're gonna be great you're gonna be yourself um you're gonna continue to evolve you're gonna continue to magnetize magnetize your abundance the way that you only know how to do and so we don't have to worry about that okay this is just a transition you know scorpio season is always scorpio season and always has to take something out and it's always has to do its thing um so it's just time to release it's time to just it happened to happen keep it moving okay don't don't give more energy to things that don't need your energy just give that back to yourself so that is your reading for this week uh don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out the patreon as well the weekly weekly community spell is going go, go the poll for it's going up tonight and then the um spell is going to be done next week which i'm excited about um and yeah don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out like check all the links out instagram twitter all the things and yeah i will see you guys in the next video